Hey, Shalom, 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 Makiyam. Uh, first and foremost, giving all praises unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahushua, by Hashem, Kapodash. Giving double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutation to all you sincere Akim, so close to four winds. Pushing this truth into the city of heart. I'm your fellow servant, Kasama Gan from the DC camp. Coming at you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushua, by Hashem, Hakodash, and feed the elect. And uh, basically, I just want to make a quick uh, video, quick spiritual hit. Uh, going off uh, um, a little bit of um, the topic that you know, we went over in class yesterday in the D.C. camp uh, on the live show. And towards the end, we were mentioning, um, we were speaking about the womb um, and how, um, you know, when the Heavenly Father says that he, uh, he gave us faith and how we have faith from the womb, um, you know, and how most of the, you know, most of the time when we speak about the womb, um, you know, immediately the thought process is, is speaking is thinking about um the the the, the physical womb, which is um, a woman's uh, uterus and a uh, belly and uterus, and and how that's that's the womb we came out of. But remember, spiritual men, we understand that if there's a there's a um physical womb, it must be a spiritual womb. And today, you know, in this lesson, I want to go into um the spiritual womb. You know, what I'm saying. And you know what it means, and what it, and what actually what it entails, and how that's the actual, true ultimate place of birth. Okay, the spiritual womb. So now, what you see right here is an image of um, the heavenly Father Yahweh, the Ancient of Days. Right. You know, again, it's just an image. It's not saying he, he looks exactly like that, but according to description, the fire stream, the throne. That's the Ancient of Days, the heavenly Father Yahweh, right, with the white garment. Now, what I want to do is I want to go to um, this word right here because, you know, when the Heavenly Father, when you read the, uh, the book of Genesis, it says, um, you know, in the beginning, you know, well, as a matter of fact, it's because, uh, well, in the book of Genesis, you know, it, it speaks about, you know, the very beginning and, you know, and how. You know, it was it was darkness, and then uh, the most has said, you know, uh, let there be light, and uh, really the powers, you know, because we're, you know, right there's not really talking about, um, you know, the heavenly Father Yahweh, but it's talking about the powers. But rem remember, the scripture says that everything, um, you know, was made by His word. Okay, everything was made by His word. So if everything was made by the heavenly Father's word, now what what it is is remember. The, and the Lord said, "Let's make man according to our image." What it is is the, our our whole existence is a concept. You know, basically that's where you get the word concept. I mean, our whole existence is Israelites, even um, Esau's existence, the nation's existence. You know, even um, you know our Lord and Savior Yahushua's existence. It's a concept. Now, what is a concept? When you look up, when you look up, when you look up the word concept, it's like a when you look up the word concept, it says a general notion, right? Um, the immediate object of a thought, right? Because it's through thought process, you know, it's the it's through the heavenly Father's thought, and then his thoughts, you know, becoming words, and his words manifesting into entity, into existence. That's how everything was created. That's where you get the beginning. That's where you get first and foremost. That's how you get your house shy. You get the angels. Then your house shy creating the angels through the, the, the thought and the thought process and the words given order to your house shy to continue that concept of creation. That all comes from the, um, the Heavenly Father, your house. Okay? So it's a concept. The concept is a draft. What is a draft? Look at the. Um, a, a draft is a writing, okay. It's a writing. When you think upon something, you know sometimes you speak upon it and then you write, and that becomes a draft. It's a concept. It's a thought, okay. It says um, now it says a thing conceived, right now. This is important when it says a thing conceived. What is you know? And right there in the, in the bottom it says to take in hold become pregnant you see that now when you look up the word con uh, uh when you look up the word conceive actually when you look up the word conceive um the word conceive con means uh, uh with seed means seed 
to take in seed or to be with seed, meaning to be pregnant. So when you come up with a concept, right? When you come up with a concept, meaning with a thought and when I and with an idea, okay, and an idea is in your mind spiritually, that's a that's a spiritual that's spiritual pregnancy, meaning your mind becomes a womb that's harboring you know a a, 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 a a spiritual womb right that's harboring a, a spiritual child which that spiritual child is your idea all right the concept the idea in your mind is a spiritual child that's the reason why as uh, the, uh, the Israelite uh, the, the elect is known as virgin that haven't been um impregnated mentally by the ideas of Esau the image of Esau Right, which is his system, right? The so-called white man, or his mark, which is uh, on the mark, the, on the mark of the beast, which is a microchip. Why? Because it's all about the consciousness and what's within the consciousness. Why? Because the consciousness of your mind is a womb. Okay, so that's where you get the word concept. It means what to become pregnant mentally or spiritually when you have an idea with them so when the heavenly father had you know came up with that concept of what you see today this movie that we live in in this draft you know it, it his mind it tells you that what his mind is, is is a womb now also that's why and i'm gonna prove i'm gonna prove it and that's why you have this word contraception you know about contraception contraception is birth control so you have conception you know which the conception goes back to, you know, the concept. But the opposite of that is contraception. See that? Which we all know what it is. It's birth control, right? Con conception in the womb. To prevent conception in the womb. That's what a contraception is, a birth control. So a concept is what? It's to become pregnant. So when you have an idea, you're, you're mentally pregnant. With that, with with that idea, which is a, 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 a spiritually a, a child as well, it becomes your child. Especially when it comes to fruition, that means you've given birth to that child. You know, all right. So now, let's go to Isaiah chapter forty-six, and um, and two. It says, Isaiah chapter forty-six and three. It says, "Hearken unto me, O O house of Jacob, right? So-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans." It's the Lord speaking, the Most High. And all the remnant of the house of Israel, which are born, remember, born means to be carried, which are born by me from the belly. Now, what does the scripture say? He that believe in, in, in Yahweh Shah, you know, out of the out of his belly shall, shall flow rivers of living water. What is that belly? The belly is the mind. So the Lord said, You bet you was born by me from the mind, which are carried from the womb. So what is that womb? Remember the concept. Remember the mind, you know, that's where the concept comes from. So basically, the Heavenly Father, you know, is saying that what? I've had you spiritually in my womb. That's when you come from Israel, so-called Negroes, Spanish, and Native Americans. Before you come out of your mother's physical womb, you come out of my spirit. You come out of the, the spiritual womb, which is my thoughts, my mind. I created you. I made you. Okay? Verse 4. And even to your old age, I am he. And even to whore hairs will I carry you. I have made thee. There you go. I have made thee. I will bear you. Even I, even I will carry and will deliver you. You see that? And that's 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 uh, those are things that women go through uh, through times of pregnancy. Okay, those are things that why because a woman, the the concept of a woman actually comes from a man. The idea of what of a woman and what she's going through actually comes from the mind of a man, which is the ultimate man, the power of God, Yahweh, through his son, the Amashiach Yahweh, which followed through with that concept. But Yahweh is also a concept, and he's really the first concept or the first born of the Heavenly Father Yahweh from the spiritual womb, which is the mind. Okay. So now what it does, well let me go to uh First, let me go to um, Hosea, Hosea 9 and 11. Hosea 9 and 11, it says, As for Ephraim, their glory shall fly away like a bird from the birth and from the womb and from the conception. You see that? So the birth, the womb, and the conception. 
So when you're talking about a concept, it's talking about a birth and it's talking about a womb, which is the mind, okay, which is the beginning, okay? It's not talking about the womb. It's ultimately not talking about the womb out of your mother's womb, okay? I'm going to show another, I'm going to bring another scripture that, um, that proves that. Uh, there you go. Psalms chapter 110. Verse 3, it says, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. You see that? So the womb is not always talking about just a woman's uterus. The womb of the morning, a womb represents, be, you know, beginning. Because you begin, you, you begin at the womb, but you begin at the womb of what? Of a man, which is his mind. When I say you begin at the womb of a man, meaning as an Israelite, you know, you were first made from the mind, the spiritual womb, the mind of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and then was followed through by the actions of, you know, the Mashiach, Yahweh, which physically actually created you. But the thought process, the concept of creation came from the Heavenly Father, okay? That's why Yahweh Shah is his firstborn. He didn't give birth to Yahweh to Yahweh Shah the way a woman does it. He gave birth to Yahweh Shah through thought process into words, and then Yahweh Shah manifested in the physical, manifested as an entity. Okay. It says, "From womb in the morning, has thou the do of thy youth." So now, that's why when we go now to our oh, let me see, I think I skipped one. This is Job thirty-eight and twenty-nine. It says, "Out of, out of whose womb." Out of whose womb came the ice and the holy frost of heaven, who has gendered? See that? So, out of whose womb came the ice? Alright. Look, look. Job 38 28. Has the rain, has the rain a father? Or who has begotten the drops of dew? Begotten mean given birth of the drops of dew. Out of whose womb came the ice and the holy frost of heaven? Who has gender it? So the who who gave birth to these elements? Who gave birth to the elements? It's the heavenly Father Yahweh, man. Out of his mind, the womb came all of these things. Okay, so now they that drives us to the main point. This is a uh, Jeremiah one and five. It says, "Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee." All right, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Before I formed thee in the belly of what? The belly of your physical mother. I knew thee, and before that came us forth out of the womb, right? I sanctified thee out of the, the the womb of your physical mother. I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. Now let's look up that word. I knew thee. The new new thee means uh, you die, right? As in the Hebrew, yeah, you die, yeah, yeah, you die, and um. The die means, check this out. The die means to perceive. Now look at that word perceive, right? So the Lord said, before I formed you in, in the physical womb, your mother stomach, okay? It says, I knew thee. New means to perceive, right? So now let's look up the word perceive. When you look up the word perceive, and you read down, it says, from the Latin... It says, notice, see, recognize, right? I recognize you, understand. It says, obtain, gather, seize entirely, take possession of, to grasp with the mind. There you go. Remember the belly? Going back with the mind, to grasp with the mind. That's why the Lord said, what? Isaiah 46 and 3, hearken unto me, O house of Jacob, and all the remnant of the house of Israel, which are born by me from the belly. The belly is the mind, meaning that's the perception, the concept, which you carry from the womb. So when the Lord said that before I formed thee in the belly of, uh, um, of your mother, I have I perceived you. I need I knew thee. Why? Because you're my child first. You came out of my spiritual womb. Meaning it's really that faith that we have. From, from birth, that faith is something that you had from the first birth when the Heavenly Father had the concept of creating Yahweh Shai and through His Son Yahweh Shai gave Him the concept to create you with faith, okay? 
So faith was given to us not when we came out of our mother's physical womb. Faith was given to us when we came out of the Heavenly Father, out of Yahweh Ba Hashem Shah's concept of spiritual womb. Okay, that's when we were given faith, not out of our womb, our mother's belly. Okay, so I'm, that's why you have to speak some now. John chapter 3, verse uh, 4. Uh, I'm going to study 3. And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto him, to Nicodemus, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom. Uh, of the most high Nicodemus said unto him how can a man be born when he is old can he enter the second time into the mother into his mother's womb and be born Yahusha answered verily verily I say unto thee except a man be born of water and of the spirit he cannot enter into the kingdom of the most high you see that that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit so you know, I was shot basically saying you, you, a man have to, has to be born of, of water and of the spirit. And that's what it is. We were born first out of the spiritual womb. All right. That's where we were born first. Starting with the elect. All right. The 144,000 and the one third. We were born out of the spiritual womb of the Heavenly Father. And, and then when he had uh, 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 the concept of having us, right, of uh, giving spiritual birth to us. Through his son in Mashiach and Yah Mashiach Yahushua, he gave his faith instantly with that. Okay? So that's why I want to bring forth that so faith really comes out of the spiritual womb of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. It doesn't it's not something that, that that's given to you just out of your mother's physical womb. You carry that faith from the very beginning. Okay? From the from the spiritual womb. So basically, yeah, that's why I wanna um I wanna bring forth, you know. I want um hopefully you just edified with this uh, uh lesson you know again going into um the concept and the spiritual womb which is the mind of the heavenly father you know the mind of Yahweh by Shem El Shah with that I'm gonna say Ka Halei I'm like Yahweh by Shem El Shah the bond so our process of elders a great millstone Shalom salutation to all you say say I kept so called some four winds because I'm out from the DC camps and Shalom.